So we take the first question real quick. We are told that two perfect dice were thrown together. Determine the probability of obtaining a total score of eight. Total score of eight. So we have two dice, first die and second die. The first die can give you numbers from one, two, three, four, five, six. Second die can also give you the same numbers. So now we need a total score of eight. You need combinations that can give you total score of eight. So we can have four four. Four four will give us eight. We can have six two. 2, 6, 5, 3, and 3, 5. These are the combinations that will give us a total score of 8. Now, how many combinations do you have here? You can see that there are 5 combinations in number. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, we have 5 combinations. So, our final answer should be 5 divided by then a particular value. Okay? Now, to get that value, when you throw a single die, you can only have 6 options. As you can see it here, when you throw a single die, you have six options. But when you throw two dice, you're going to have six to the power of two, which will give you 36 options. Okay, so the number of options that you can have is 36. So the final answer will be five divided by 36, which is the final answer to that question, which is option B. For the second question, you have to find the value of x satisfying the equation four to the power two x divided by four to the power three x is equals to two. So you have 4 is to the power 3x divided by, sorry, 4 is to the power 2x divided by 4 is to the power 3x is equal to 2. Okay, from the law of indices, you can see that on the left hand side, you have the same base, which is 4. And in indices, your division stands for subtraction or minus. So you can easily simplify this part by writing a single 4, which is the base, take it the single 4. Then you subtract the powers. So you're going, you're going to have the power at the top, 2 to the power x minus the power at the bottom part, 3 to the power x. And this will give us 2 on the right hand side. Then from here, 2x minus 3x, that will give you minus x. So you have 4 to the power minus x is equals to 2. So at this stage, all you have to do is break down both sides to be in the same base. You know that 4, your 4 is 2 to the power 2 already. Okay, so you're going to have 2 raised to the power 2, then you have minus x at the outer part, is equals to 2 raised to the power 1, or just 2. Then from here, 2 times minus x, or 2 times minus 1, will give you 2 raised to the power minus 2x, equals to 2 raised to the power 1. And on this particular part here, you can see that the bases are the same. The bases are the same. So when the bases are the same like that, you can just cancel the bases like this. So all you're going to left, uh, all, you, all you're going to be left with is, minus 2x, you're going to be left with minus 2, minus 2x is equal to 1. Then at this stage, you can just divide both sides by minus 2. So your final answer will be equals to x equals to minus 1 over 2. Okay, which is right there in the option. So I hope you understand. If you don't understand, give us give me um, a suggestion in the comment section. So for this next question, we have to solve the equation y squared minus 11y plus 24 is equal to 0. So you have y squared minus 11y plus 24. Okay? So you have to solve this equation. This is a quadratic equation. So to solve this equation, is very, very simple. You need to know this. Look at this particular term here, which is 24. And look at the middle term. This term is called the sum term, and this is the difference term. So all you need is two numbers that, when you multiply those two numbers, you get 24. And when you add or subtract them, you get 11 or minus 11. Now let's look at those numbers. The numbers that can give us 24. We have 6 and 4, 12 and 2. We also have 8 and 3. These are the basic ones. Then you have 24 and 1. Now, we're trying to get 11 in the middle here. None of these numbers can give us 11. 6 plus 4 is 10. This is 10. This is 14. It's only this number that can give us, these two factors that can give us um, 11. So, this is what we are going to be using. Now, since you've known the number to use, the next thing is to, the middle term here, which is negative, give it to the sign, give it to the bigger number, 8 and 3. 8 is the bigger number. So, this negative sign, give it to 8. Okay? Then do minus times plus, give it to the smaller one. So minus times plus give it minus. So give it to the smaller one. So now you're not gonna be you're not gonna be writing 
minus 11y again. What you'll be writing now is minus 8 and minus 3. So you just append y at the back. So you have y. So you have y squared minus. Don't write 11y again. You're going to write 8y minus 3y plus 24 is equal to 0. Then you have to bracket it like this. You leave a sign in the middle. Just like this. Okay. So at this point, you just, just factorize and look at what is common. So you have y squared here. You have y here. You can see that y is common to both sides. So you pick out your y. Then y in y squared. That will give you y minus 8y divided by y. Okay. That will give you 8. Minus 3 is common here. Because 3 can go into these numbers. Minus times plus will give you minus. So 3 and 3 will give you just y. Okay, minus 24 divided by 3 will give you 8. So to confirm if your answer is correct, you see that what you have in the bracket will be the same. You have um, y minus 8 here. You also have y minus 8 here. So you have to, all you have to do is pick a single factor. Pick one of them. So you have y minus 8. Then pick the one that is outside, y minus 3. Then equate it to 0. So since both of them are being multiplied and, if, and the answer is 0, then that means either one of them will be 0. So you just write y minus 8 is equal to 0 or y minus 3 is equal to 0. And from this point, just solve this simple linear equation. Take 8 to this part. You have y equals 8. Take 3 to that side. You have y equals 3. So the answers are just 8 or 3. Okay? 8 or 3. 8 comma 3. Anyhow you want to put it. And you can see the option right there on your screen. Okay? So that's the answer right there.